Hello and welcome to another Beehive 101. In this video, I'm going to be covering our recommendations feature, which is a very powerful growth tactic for uh, gaining new subscribers. If you're unfamiliar with how this works, essentially when a user subscribes to your newsletter, you can give them a selection of recommended newsletters to also subscribe to at the same time. They've already subscribed to your newsletter, but if there's sister publications that you're publishing or if you've partnered with other newsletters, you can display these so that the subscriber has an opportunity to subscribe to multiple at once. Before we jump in on how to set this up, I want to show you an example using this test. If a user subscribed to this publication, after they subscribe, they would land on a page like this. You can add why you're recommending this other newsletter, and these are three that I've selected here. So the user would click an opt-in. It's very important we, we do an opt-in system rather than opt-out like some other platforms. The subscribers tend to be higher quality because they're making that active choice to subscribe. We just make it very easy and hassle-free. Once I go through here and I, I click to subscribe to three publications, the same email I signed up for the initial publication, I would then also be subscribed using that email to these other three. How do we set this up? Under Grow, we're going to go to Recommendations. We'll have this interface. By default, you'll have no recommendations either under your recommendations or recommending you. So you can add a recommendation by clicking here. We give you this modal. There's going to be some a random selection that shows up, but you can search using these hashtags. These are based on the topic tags that you set when you set up your Beehive account. If I selected artificial intelligence, I could have this selection of kind of the top publications that have selected artificial intelligence as a content tag. Let's say we wanted to recommend Ben's Bytes. We'd select this, and then this is great newsletter, and add that recommendation. I'll now be able to see how many subscribers I've referred to Ben's Bytes. If I start referring a ton of subscribers, he'll see that in his recommending you section. He'll see that the turn is recommending him. And this can be a great entry point for starting a conversation to cross promote each other. We find that a lot of publishers on Beehive will collaborate and communicate through something like Twitter or connecting via email if they see that the other publication has a related audience. Maybe there's a lot of subscribers coming through and you want to join forces in that way. We have updates to some of the discovery features coming in the coming months. This is how you're going to get set up and adding recommendations. If you want to rearrange the order that they're going to be in after you've added them, you can click this arrange button. If you want to view what it's going to look like, you click that view site button. If you want to remove, you can click remove. If you want to make it active, which just means it's going to hide it, but not necessarily delete it, you can hit make an active, or you can click edit reason to change the reason why you've selected to recommend it. Right now, a karmic system where you recommend other publications, you're going to have that come back to you. As I said, we're looking into ways to make the discovery process and the connection process way more streamlined coming into 2023. I hope this is helpful in describing how to get recommendations set up. Can't wait to see what you build. Thank you so much.